friends. It's so good to see you here today and it's such an honor and a privilege to be able to welcome you to the 20th annual Arizona Wildfire and Incident Management Academy. Uh, this academy uh, started 20 years ago and that you're here today, you're following a wonderful tradition. My name is Don Howard. Uh, I started out as the incident commander here at the academy and with a whole bunch of other people we were able to make this thing come into fruition and I hope that you will take advantage of everything that is offered to you. The formal edu education, the informal education, the people that you're going to meet, that you're going to see on fires everywhere across the country. Some folks think that the wildland fire community is so huge and large and guess what? You're going to meet people here at this academy that you're going to see on every fire that you go on. We begged the Arizona State Fire Training Committee to loan us $24,000 to get started with the academy. This came after the Rodeo Chetiskai fire of 2002 when it was evident that uh, the training in the state of Arizona uh, was not meeting the needs. The state could not meet the, meet the needs of our firefighters. The federal government could not meet the needs. So we took off on a different direction and raised our own money. Uh, I have to give a huge shout out to Corey Kirkpatrick and Eric Marsh because Arizona Wildfire Academy Central was run out of their little home for three years, had dozens and dozens of boxes stacked up, taking up most of their, their room and their space. But it was their passion that really helped to provide the coordination to begin the academy. So real special thanks to Tim McElwee, Mark South, and Brian Lauber, who were the original council that oversaw the development of the academy. And it goes without saying, tremendous thanks as well to Daryl Willis and Granite Mountain Hotshots for everything they did for this academy. Uh, Daryl's daughter, Carissa, was also a part of the first coordination team and it got handed off to Tony and Libby who have taken it to new heights and new directions. Those things that you see today that have evolved to make the Arizona Wildfire and Incident Manage Management Academy one of the finest wildfire academies anywhere. So I wish you all the best. I hope you learn stuff every day. I hope you're able to share what you know with others. And when you go out at the end of this season, I hope each and every one of you come back home safely. All the best. The men and women of today's fire service are confronted with a more dangerous work environment than ever before. We are forced to continually change our strategies and tactics to accomplish our tasks. Our methods may change, but our goals remain the same as they were in the past, to save lives and to protect property, sometimes at a terrible cost. This is what we do. This is our chosen profession. This is the tradition of the firefighter. The fire service of today is ever changing, but is steeped in traditions 200 years old. One such tradition is the sound of a bell. In the past, as firefighters began their tour of duty, it was the bell that signaled the beginning of that day's shift. Throughout the day and night, each alarm was sounded by a bell, which summoned these brave souls to fight fires and to place their lives in jeopardy for the good of their fellow citizen. And when the fire was out and the alarm had come to an end, it was the bell that signaled to all the completion of that call. When a firefighter had died in the line of duty, paying the supreme sacrifice, it was the mournful toll of the bell that solemnly announced a comrade's passing. 
We utilize these traditions as symbols which reflect honor and respect on those who have given so much and who have served so well. To symbolize the devotion that these brave souls had for their duty, a special signal of three rings, three times each, represents the end of our comrades' duties and that they will be returning to quarters. And so, to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow man, their tasks completed, their duties well done. To our comrades, their last alarm, they are coming home. Ian H. Macbeth, Paul C. Hudson, Rick A. DeMorgan Jr., Eric R. Ellis, Brian B.J. Jeffrey Boatman, Duncan Cameron Henderson, David Blake Haynes, Scott B. Thomas, Peter Allen Hine, Michael John Fournier, Thomas Mark Duffy, Diana Lynn Jones, Charles Edward Morton, Walter Wally S. Eiselberry Jr., Ricky Lee Fulton, Dennis M. Bender, Selina Rosenberg, Charles Chuck Wesley Miller Jr., Chuck Charles Scottini, Sarah A. Grell, Tim Hart, Matthew Robert Miller, Jeff Pichira, Fumercio Ruiz Carapia, Judy Spencer, Alan Johnson, Cody S. Traber, James Krause, Marcus Daniel Pacheco, Marshall Grant Brookfield, Layla May Bradley, Larry Wyant, Mark Olson, Honor Guard, present arms. Order on. Hi, my name is Tim McElwee. I've been with the Academy since the beginning. I was one of the original uh, board members of the Arizona Wildfire Council and then uh, original members of the uh, team. I was uh, first five years operation section chief and the uh, remaining years spent in plans. First, I want to thank everybody that was involved in the tribute night video this year. We missed it last year. It's been a tradition since 2014. Um, originally, we started the tribute night to recognize and remember Grand Mountain Hotshots, but we also wanted, because they were such a, a big part of uh, the academy over years in, our, in supporting and teaching, but we also wanted to re uh, remember all those that we lost over the years. And I really appreciate the time and effort that's gone into this video this year to keep that tradition going at the Academy. 
Next thing I want to do is welcome everybody to the 2022 Academy. 20 years of excellence. If somebody would have told me that we would be this big 20 years past the first one, I would have just laughed. But it's incredible to see where it's gone and uh, all the people that continue to donate their time and effort and professionalism to make this one of the premier academies in the United States. So one of the things I want to challenge you with at this year's academy, and we, we do it every academy, but take the time and listen to the lessons learned that are out there. Your instructors are going to have some official lesson learned uh, in your classroom. But if you listen closely, there's lessons to be learned from everybody at the academy, students, instructors, academy staff, and it's just not all about fire. Everybody comes with life lessons. So take the time, take the effort to pick up on something new every year at this academy. That was one of the most important things to me about this academy over the years was that I went away each day from the academy with some new lesson learned that I could use in firefighting or I could use in, in life. Take advantage of the expertise, the dedication, and the professionalism that you'll find at the Academy this year. Thank you. So have you, uh, if you've got a feel already, you know, 20 years of the Academy, we one thing for certain in the fire service change. And with COVID and the, the rest of our crazy world we live in, change is also happening here. New board this year, a lot of new board members, a lot of new team members. And the re reason for that is, is because we don't want the academy uh, to get stagnant. We also have some tradition in the academy. Historically, we would have a Tuesday night tribute night. You'd all show up, drink beer, buy a bunch of tickets, and we'd make a bunch of money for uh, a raffle for our students. So this year we can't do that, but we still have those awards that we want to give out. And this year, there's an award that uh, I'm always proud to give. Tim McElway, um, if you don't know Tim, Tim was a founding member of the Arizona Wildfire Academy. His dad, Herb McElway, was also a liaison here for many, many years. And uh, when Herb passed, we put an award together called the Herb McElway Award. And what that award's about is about loyalty, productivity and leadership and vision of the academy. And every year we present it to someone usually that's been a long-term uh, academy member and involved. And then this year, I have the absolute privilege to award it to Mr. Brian Larber. Where are you? <laughs> Get over here. Congratulations, sir. That is yours. <laughs> thank, you. All right, yeah. thank you for all your contribution for 20 years to the Arizona Wildfire Academy and, and your vision with Don Howard and Chief Willis and all the rest of them yeah. at the beginning. It was a late night in a dark room at Little America and they said, sign here. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? So. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. 20 years. Mm, yeah. How about that? I huh? got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is PJ Lingley. I'm the Incident Commander for the 2022 Arizona Wildfire and Incident Management Academy. Uh, this year, I get the honor to present the Southwest Wildland Firefighter of the Year. Uh, we've been doing this for uh, 20 years. This is our 20th anniversary, and it is an absolute honor for me. Uh, this year's recipient is actually a repeat offender. Um, he won this award back in 2014. Uh, 2014, thank you. Um, and so this is his second. Uh, he was nominated by his peers, and I don't think there was a single no vote uh, amongst the group. So with that, I'd like to invite Greg Smith over. Greg, thanks. Congratulations. The, uh, the plaque, if anyone doesn't know the history, uh, Greg is the epitome of brotherhood within the Wildland Fire Service. And I can't think of anyone else more deserving 
Uh, he is a little lighter these days. He's missing uh, one organ that we know of. Um, but it's, it's got a good home with a good friend and a fellow hotshot. So I'd like to give you that. Along with that, that comes with it, is a boot package from the Hike Shack. It includes a, bear, a pair of boots, socks, insoles, the whole nice. deal, because we know as you get older, it's not quite as comfortable. So For sure. we're going to take care of you. So Greg, it's my pleasure. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Um, when, uh, when my boss uh, called me and, and told me that uh, I was going to receive this, um, believe it or not, I was actually at a loss for words for once in my life. Um, I'm humbled. I truly am. Um, I, I, appreciate, I appreciate what goes on here. Um, Tony, I appreciate what you've been doing for the last 15 years. PJ, I appreciate you carrying it forward. Um, it's a good program. And um, uh, thank you all. Uh, I used to be a part of it, and it looks like it's in good hands. And I, uh, I'm very humbled. Thank you. Hi, my name's Tony Shaka. I'm the director of the Arizona Wildfire Academy. I've been in that position since 2007 through the 22 season. Welcome for the students that are coming in for the 22. A little information about the academy. The Arizona Wildfire Academy was a brainchild of uh, Don Howard and a bunch of other firefighters about training and making available training for all the agencies in the state of Arizona and beyond. They put together the first Arizona Wildfire Academy and uh, it had a couple hundred students and they laughed and talked about that and maybe that's as big as they wanted to get and here we are now in 22 looking down at maybe 700, 750 students. We see students uh, annually from 20 plus states and we even have a few friends that come in from out of country to help us teach. The Arizona Wildfire Academy prides itself on excellence. It's excellence in its training, excellence in its instructors and we really try to work hard with all the firefighters. Annually we give out close to $30,000 worth of scholarships uh, to firefighters to who we subsidize, who can't make it, and who are trying to protect communities. It doesn't happen without a tremendous amount of work. We have some local sponsors in our community, State Farm, uh, Captain CrossFit Training Facility, and Arizona Public Service. They have been donors long time, and their contributions go a long way. They support some of the scholarships. They support the ability for the academy. Without saying, Emory-Riddle Aeronautical University has been the home of the Arizona Wildfire Academy since its conception. And they've been strong partners. They believe, just like we do, in protection of communities, not just ours, but across the state of Arizona. So Jeff, welcome uh, to the Arizona Wildfire Academy and thank APS for their continued sponsorship and support. We can't do what we do without you. Every year we give awards for Firefighter of the Year and we give full awards for the Herb McElroy Awards, which is really meaningful to us in, in our contribution. APS has been a partner with us close to 10 years now in so many different ways. And on behalf of the Arizona Wildfire Academy, we would like to present APS, you, Jeff, with this plaque. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> appreciate the appreciate the partnership so, there we go. There we go. <laughs> appreciate the partnership and and it's ironic because we couldn't do what we do without the wildland firefighting community so thanks again um and it's been a great run it has been really enjoyed it thank you welcome everybody we're here today at captain crossfit in prescott arizona uh, Captain Crosser has been a partner of the Arizona Wildfire Academy now for going on eight years and just tr tremendous generosity in supporting it. They have an event with it based on the Granite Mountain Hotshots. Uh, last year, 430 some um, participants and athletes. We can't uh, ever say thank you enough um, to our sponsors, but this year we try we're trying to do it again. And on behalf of the Arizona Wildfire Academy and the fire community, we'd like to present this plaque to Captain CrossFit for everything that you guys do for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And you can hold that right in front of you. Thank you so much. And the honor is ours. And thank you to everyone who helps and makes it, makes this come to life.
We're here today to give uh, State Farm local offices and corporate a great big thank you. Uh, State Farm partnered with us around seven or eight years ago and Arizona Wildfire Academy being the nonprofit that it is does not survive without partners. In a sense, the insurance companies in the fire business um, work together every day. So here comes the fire truck now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, uh, and we sometimes uh, get busy running around with our own nonprofit and don't get a chance to really say thank you to the people who help us make this happen every day. You know, your contribution goes in supporting students' activities, scholarships, so on and so forth. So on behalf of the Arizona Wildfire Academy, I would like to present State Farm with a plaque that they can fight over in their offices. And, yeah. and uh, But uh, partners with Tracy and her and I got talking seven or eight years ago about this. and. And then through everything else responsible for making this happen for us. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate the partnership. Well, thank you. Why don't you guys hold this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On behalf of State Farm, we really appreciate the opportunity to be here today. And a uh, beautiful morning out there. You guys are having some uh, great weather for the day. And uh, we just, uh, we're thankful to be a part of this. We're thankful that you have this academy here in the Prescott area. Uh, we're thankful for the students that come in from all over the U.S. because as we all know here in this room, wildfire affects all of us. It affects pretty much every state out there. I mean, some of our states are a little bit more affected, but um, we appreciate the fact that you host the academy and, uh, and are allowing us to be a part of this today. So Pardon. thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. My name is PJ Lingley. It's my pleasure to serve as the incident commander for the 2022 Arizona Wildfire and Incident Management Academy. This is our 20th year, 20 years of excellence in fire service training. We look forward to the next 20 years and we're happy to share tonight with you as we paid tribute to our fallen. We shared a few laughs along the way. Thank you for joining us this evening. We look forward to the next 20 years ahead. <laughs>